Now let's do a nice big bow like you had on the back of that jazz singer's dress. So the general mechanics of a bow is you've got a knot in the middle, so it's a rectangle of sorts. And then you have the bow that comes out from there. So this is tied together with that knot in the middle, so you want it to come out. Like so. And then the edges here and here. Now we can add some depth to it. We would have some scrunching here. So this would be a little bit messy here like that. And so gathers, just like when we draw gathers, same idea. Making it soft. And then we'd have some gathers here as well. Usually not super gathered, just more like folds almost. And then we can also do things like, I'm going to have to draw another one for this, but let's say if we're kind of looking down on it, so if it's on the bottom of the dress, say, we're going to see into the bow on the top. And then, so this would be a droopy bow also, right? So right here we have more of a stiffer, pretty bow. Or we can droop it, right? So for your dress, let's say we have a nice droopy bow. And I'm going to have it, we still want it to kind of come out from here, but then it's going to droop down and we'll see the top of it like so and I think this should be a little bigger yeah that. And that would be a droopy bow. Now let's add some ties. Let's say it has a tie. So we could do, let's flip it over, and we're going to say the tie's coming behind it. So first I'm going to draw the whole thing so I know what it looks like. And just like the bow, it's going to originate from here, from that tie in the middle, and then gravity is going to let it go. Whee! Now, the other side also originating from the bow, but not in the center. And then it's released and it's going to get thicker because now it's the same thickness as that bow right here. So we want it to be a similar thickness. And then we'll give it a nice edge like so. Same on the other side. And now we can come back, only draw what we see, which is from here and here. And then last thing, we're going to add a couple of gathers and see if, no, I don't think any of them would stick out. We might see a little here, but now we'll get rid of that because we won't see it. finishing touches. Of course, you don't have to add the gathers. It's all dependent on the bow that you're making. The gathers will always go in the direction of that fabric. Like so.